In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create and use polar arrays, also known as circular patterns, within AutoCAD. To start, let's first focus on creating the object you want to use in your array. This could be any shape or design that suits your project needs. Take your time to ensure it's exactly how you want it, because this will be repeated around a central point. Once your object is ready, it's time to engage the polar array feature. Go to your command line at the bottom of the AutoCAD interface and type in array polar, then hit enter. This simple command unlocks one of AutoCAD's powerful tools for creating repetitive circular patterns. After entering the command, you'll be prompted to select the object you've just crafted. Do so by clicking on your object, then press enter to confirm your selection. This step is crucial as it tells AutoCAD precisely which object you want to create a pattern with. Now, it's time to define the center of your polar array, which serves as the pivot point around which your object will be duplicated. Click on the spot in your drawing where you want the center of this circular pattern to be. Instantly, you'll see a preview of your object arranged in a circular formation. From here, you have several options to customize your pattern to fit your design vision. Use the panel above your drawing workspace. Here, AutoCAD provides different settings that allow you to edit the array further. You can adjust the number of objects in the pattern, tweak the angles or distances, and make other modifications that suit your needs. Moreover, you'll notice anchor points around your polar array in the drawing itself. These are interactive and allow you to make adjustments visually. By clicking and dragging these points, you can change the size and distribution of your pattern, giving direct and immediate control over the appearance of the array. And there you have it, you've created a polar array in AutoCAD. This powerful tool allows for flexibility and creativity, helping you to construct complex and detailed designs with ease. Whether you're designing for small projects or large schematics, mastering the use of polar arrays can enhance both your efficiency and the precision of your work. Thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial has helped you gain a more thorough understanding of using polar arrays in AutoCAD. Remember, practice makes perfect, so take some time to experiment with different objects and arrays to see what innovative designs you can create.